Good morning, friends. How is the weather at your home? Mine is sunny. When the day is sunny, I like to play dodgeball and hide and seek. <laughs> when the day is sunny, I play a lot of water games, dodgeball, hide and seek. My favorite, like Humphrey Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus reads. Humphrey Hippopotamus reads and Humphrey Hippopotamus has a song. Do you remember the words in Humphrey Hippopotamus' song? Okay, let's hear the song one more time and then the next time we sing together, okay? Now we sing together. Humphrey the hippo playing hide and seek. Hid in the dark house and fell fast asleep. Humphrey the hippo likes to hike and play. Being with family on a holiday. That is an awesome song and we go into a story land. we go into story land how are you going to story land me i am going to go with that car that has that loudest noise <gasps> Let's go! This is the way to Storyland, Storyland, Storyland. This is the way to Storyland. Come, let us go. We shall meet with all our friends, all our friends, all our friends. We shall meet with all our friends. Just wait and see. <laughs> we are in Storyland. Pack your car. Okay, put on your thinking cups, put on your listening cups, put on remembering cups, and tie them hard and sit comfortably. Okay, time. We continue Humphrey Hippopotamus' story. On a beautiful sun, shiny morning, all the little hippopotamuses in Hippo Hills were playing hide and seek. The little boy hippo counted very slowly to 25. While all the other little little hippo friends hurried to hunt for a hiding place on the hill. You see, while the boy was counting, the rest of the hippo friends ran to look for places to hide. Uh -huh. There was much fun as the little boy hippo found every one of his friends. But... Nobody could find Humphrey Hippopotamus. <gasps> the little hippo friends looked all over the hill, but Humphrey Hippopotamus was nowhere to be found. You see, all the little hippo friends looked for Humphrey Hippopotamus. Looked for Humphrey Hippopotamus, but he was nowhere to be found. 
the little hippo friends huddled together to make a plan to hunt to hunt for Humphrey hippopotamus. They decided to go to Humphrey hippopotamus's house and ask his mother to help. Hmm. To help them hunt. <gasps> mother hippopotamuses always seem to know where to look for the little hippopotamuses. I will be happy to help you hunt for my little hiding son, said Miss Hippopotamus with a smile. Hmm. After we find Humphrey Hippopotamus, let's come back to our house for a nice snack. All the little hippopotamuses hunted in all the places where hippos usually hide when they play hide and seek. They must have looked in a hundred places. Still, Humphrey Hippopotamus was not found. Well, said Mrs. Hippopotamus, Humphrey Hippopotamus could not have gone far. Humphrey Hippopotamus always obeys and stays at home or on the hill. We have looked everywhere. We can think to look, said Miss Hippopotamus. With her hand on her head, I will call Mr. Hippopotamus to help hunt too. Miss Hippopotamus hurried down the hill to the house. <gasps> Suddenly, <gasps> Miss Hippopotamus stopped. Then she began to smile. <laughs> What was making her smile? Hmm. Then her smile turned into a happy ha ha ha. Miss Hippopotamus could see Humphrey Hippopotamus's red handkerchief. He could see. Do you see the red handkerchief over here? Mm-hmm. Her red handkerchief hanging out of the door of the dog house. Humphrey Hippopotamus. Humphrey Hippopotamus's hound dog lived in the dog house. Miss Hippopotamus bent down to take a peek. You see? She bent down to take a peek. You see? She's peeping. Huh. The black and brown hound dog was huddled inside taking his morning nap. All hunched up next to the hound was Humphrey Hippopotamus. Do you see Humphrey in the dog house inside? Huh. Humphrey Hippopotamus's hands were under his head like a pillow. You see? The dog is sleeping on Humphrey's hand. It was like a pillow. Ooh. Humphrey Hippopotamus was first asleep too. Humphrey Hippopotamus had found a good hiding place in the dog house and had accidentally fallen asleep. <laughs> oh my God. Can you imagine playing hide and seek? And then you hide and then you sleep. <gasps> that is. Brave <laughs> oh, Hippopotamus is a funny boy. <clears throat> Miss Hippopotamus said to, her, to herself, Hallelujah! Here's Humphrey Hippopotamus. I am so thankful to have found Humphrey Hippopotamus safe and sound. When they looked everywhere, when Humphrey was nowhere to be found, everyone had got so worried. Oh no! But uh, they found Humphrey hiding inside the doggy's house. Oh god. Miss Hippopotamus called out to the little hippo friends in her hippo voice. Here's Humphrey Hippopotamus. I found where he hid. 
Humphrey Popotamus sat down. Humphrey Popotamus rubbed his sleepy eyes. Oh, 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 what, what's happening? Why is everybody making so much noise? Humphrey Popotamus crawled out of the dog house. We were playing hide and seek. I hid in our dog house. Miss Popotamus hugged Humphrey Popotamus to her happy heart. The other little hippo's friends huddled around Humphrey Hippopotamus and Mrs. Hippopotamus. They told Humphrey Hippopotamus they had hunted for his hiding place and hunted and hunted. They could not find him. Hmm. You are the hero of the day, Humphrey Hippopotamus, said all the little hippo friends. You had the best hiding place of all. Miss Hippopotamus said, you must be hungry after all that hiding and hunting. You must be hungry for a nice snack. Come to the picnic table in our backyard, please. The little hippo friend said, Yum, mm, oh my, good it. As Miss Hippopotamus placed a pretty plate in the middle of the picnic table, the pretty plate was filled with raw vegetables and fruits. There were orange carrots. You see the orange carrots? Orange carrots, how many are they? We count them. One, two, three. Orange carrots, green broccoli. There was a green broccoli. And little red tomatoes. Little red tomatoes. They were yellow. Pears, they were yellow pears and bananas too. Wow, that plate surely looks pretty. Huh. Get the rabbit hobbit is what my mother always says, said a happy little girl hippo. She likes us to eat most of our vegetables and fruits raw. Raw means not cooked. Rabbits eat their vegetables raw too. Yes, your mother is wise to teach you healthful food habits, said Miss Hippopotamus. I hope you will always be careful to eat only healthful foods a healthy little boy hippo said my mother makes homemade whole wheat bread Yum. Mm, 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 mm. Humphrey hippopotamus thought of something good too you should taste my mother's oatmeal cookies someday she lets me help she lets me help her make them with oatmeal, cereal, and honey. All the little hippo friends were sharing the nice snack. <gasps> Suddenly, two of the littlest hippos started to fight. Two little hippos were brothers. Hmm. Two little hippos who were brothers started to fight over who should get the larger yellow Banana! <gasps> Don't hold the banana! cried one little brother in his hippo voice. I am taller, so I should get the banana! cried the other. No! I want the banana! cried the little one again. Boys, boys, boys! said Miss Hippopotamus. It is hard to have a happy snack together if two boys cannot share happily. Every little, bo every little hippo in the backyard was looking at Miss Hippopotamus as she said in her sweet hippo voice, Hold on, hold on, 
Hold on. Hold on, you happy hungry hippos. I have an idea to help with the hard problem. Hmm. What would you do to help Miss Hippopotamus solve the problem? So the problem was two boys are fighting for the banana to eat the biggest banana. If you were Miss Hippopotamus, how would you solve that problem? You tell me tomorrow. I'm also going to think of how to help Miss Hippopotamus stop the boys from fighting for the larger banana. Time for questions. What did Miss Hippopotamus see hanging out of the door of the dog house? What did she see? A red handkerchief. Who was in the dog house? Who was in the dog house? Humphrey Hippopotamus. What were Humphrey Hippopotamus and his hound dog doing in the dog house? What were they doing? They were sleeping. Hmm. Who had the best hiding place for that day? Humphrey Hippopotamus. We should come for Humphrey for finding the best hiding place. Lovely, lovely advice for Humphrey. What kind of habit is a good habit? To get the rabbit habit. Do you remember what a rabbit habit is? To eat raw fruits and vegetables. What are raw vegetables and fruits? What? Are raw vegetables and fruits. What does the word raw mean? The, the fruits and the vegetables that are not cooked. Why were the hippo brothers fighting? The hippo brothers were fighting over who should get the banana. They all wanted it. I'm not a dollar. Give me the banana. Even this one. I want the banana. I want the banana. They were fighting over a banana. Hmm. How would you solve their sharing problem? You have to tell me tomorrow. How would you solve the sharing problem. You are, I'm going to, you're going to tell me tomorrow, okay? So, we have something new called vocabulary drill. We met so many new words in our story and we're going to find out what they mean. That is what we call vocabulary drill. What does it mean to obey? To do what you are told. Obey means to do what you are told. When you are all hunched up, are you stretching out or curled up in a ball? Hunched up means curling up or hugging or all when you're together in hugging mommy daddy uh, yo so instead of saying hugging together you can say hunched up hmm. what is doing something accidentally do you know what the word accidentally means you can say i broke the glass the, the glass or i broke i poured the water accidentally 
Do you know what the word accidentally mean? First repeat after me. Say the word accidentally. Accidentally. It means you did it you not you you did it without knowing or you did intend to do it you did you did it not on purpose it just happened you didn't intend to do it hmm. what is a hero like when you say my mommy is my hero what does the word hero mean? It means a very special person. So the other time we learned new words. Okay, like hard words. So I hope you're using those words. So even today, we are going to start using these words. Okay. And then what does the word raw mean? Not cooked. Like. Right? I like my cabbage raw. It means you want to eat the cabbage not cooked. What does larger mean? I want a larger banana. I want the larger plate. It means I want the bigger banana. So larger means bigger. What does it mean to hog something? To hog. Hog. Repeat after me. Hog. It means take more than you should. I hogged food. You ate a lot of food more than what you were supposed to eat. So hog means taking more than what you should so you are going to start using our new words and next week you tell me a story and you put those new words in the story i'll tell you my story first and then it will be your turn bye friends